let's create some IoT simulations. So, in order to create an IoT simulation, let's first add our server because we need a server to communicate between the IoT devices and our other devices like if we want to control the IoT devices with a smartphone, a home computer or a laptop. So, first we need a server, then let's add a com home computer for controlling the devices and uh, since we are in the end devices let's add our IoT devices as well I wanna add a coffee machine ceiling fan let's add a door or no I don't like a door let's add a garage door okay and uh, let's okay I want the light alright now I need a switch to connect everything together let's add a switch and uh, so in the previous versions of Cisco packet tracer you could have connect your IoT devices directly with wire to the switch so um, but in the newer version of Cisco packet tracer like uh, my version that I'm using you, you cannot uh, connect your uh, IoT devices with wire, so they are all wireless. I need an access point to connect my IoT devices to the switch. So, I'm sorry, connect my IoT devices to the server. Uh, so if you are using a previous version of uh, Cisco Packet Tracer, you might be able to connect them with wire directly to the switch. You don't need an access point. But uh, if you want to have an access point, you are free to do anything you want. Okay, so let's first connect the access point, switch, and server and my PC uh, all together. And then let's go to the access point, go to config, and let's have an SSID for our access point. I will add DGDEV and let's copy it here in the f in the config in the wireless set this aside I, I haven't uh, I didn't set any authentication so it will connect without needing any be entering any password all right let's add it for the light as well All right, now our devices are all connected. So before we go to controlling the devices and any IoT section, uh, let's go and create a DHCP service in uh, our server because I don't want to give the all of the objects IP by hand. So let's go to DHCP, turn the DHCP on. Oh, before we need to set an IP for our server. So let's set an IP of 192.168.1.1 for our server. I will copy the IP. Let's go to services. Now let's have a start IP address. It's going to be 192.168.1. I want to start from 10. Okay, this is going to be 255, 255, 255. 255. And let's have let's say we have 100 devices all right let's save it and uh, let's go set our devices to DHCP all right the DHCP request successful and I believe the IoT devices if I remember correctly yeah they are by default on DHCP but they are getting an IP out of range that we set to so we need to put them on a static and put them on DHCP again so you can see the IP has changed and it is on a correct path okay let's go to wireless the static and DHCP again all right Okay, now all of our devices have an IP address that we can communicate with all of the devices directly. Okay, 
now let's go to our server before we go in iot part we need an username so we have an application here on our server installed in our server called iot monitor let's go to iot monitor here you can see we need to log in um, uh, but we don't have an account to log in right now so uh, there isn't any sign up either let's uh, log in with the false information if I click on login it should give me an error okay let's put the IP address of our server first login file not found maybe the services should be on huh okay let's try again the IP address of our server okay now you can see it says the login uh, wasn't successful and uh, we need and now we have a sign up now so one thing uh, one mistake I had we need to turn on the IoT first so alright and uh, let's sign up now and set a username and password like admin admin and create okay now we have an IoT uh, service logged in in our server and uh, in our services uh, I don't have any IoT device connected right now let's go to the desktop here is the visual part that we can um, communicate with our devices for example turn the cafe machine on or off we can do it from the server as well from here so now let's connect our IoT devices to the server in order to do that let's go to the IoT device we go to setting and at the bottom here we have an IoT server so the IoT server put it on a remote server here we need the server address so it was 192.168.11 the username and password was admin admin I click on connect connecting if the connection was successful here the button will be refresh so let me show you with another device uh, what will happen if we set a wrong username and password so let's say we say admin one two three connect okay you can see it remain connect so the username and password wasn't correct if the username and password be correct it would be ref refresh okay you can see it connected successfully and for the other devices we need to do it as well okay the last device alright okay connect you can see now all of our devices are connected to the server let's go to the server let's go to IT monitor and you can see all of our devices the ceiling fan the garage door light and the coffee machine and uh, now how we can communicate let's just uh, in order to communicate let's just click on it here we have a button called on off you can see when I clicking on it the device here the light here is turning on and off so right now it's off right now is it's on and again off on okay so we can um have a communication with our devices through this application and uh, if you want to turn them off and on by hand so you don't want to have anything like from server or from a computer you just hold alt on your keyboard and uh, click on the objects so if i hold alt and click you can see i can turn them off and on and uh, it's uh, for ceiling fan as well so ceiling fan um, if I click again on it you can see it has a light mode and uh, a turbo mode I think and it will then turn off so it is off light mode turbo mode and off again okay so how we can control them from our home PC now 
it's as easy as drinking water and let's just click on the computer in the desktop tab we have an IoT monitor as well. Let's click on it here. We set the server IP address, username and password, and log in. Now we have access to all of the devices from the server. And uh, we are controlling them through our uh, home PC. And uh, let's go, for example, for the ceiling fan. You can have, you have off, low, high. OK. And for the garage door as well. And all of other devices okay guys that's it i believe um, this is the last video for our um, beginners uh, tutorial course so if you want any other tutorial in this um, because we just scratched the surface of cisco packet tracer you have so many things to do in cisco packet tracer there are so much you can simulate uh, in IoT, for example, uh, here we have a car. You can have um, uh, sensors inside the car, so they will check if the sen if the gas inside the uh, garage door is um, in a, in a in a level that you set. You can open up the garage door. So you can have so many conditions based on the condition. Something happens. They could have all of those in Cisco Packet Tracer. So, uh, there are so much things you can do with Cisco Packet Tracer, and we just um, scratched the surface. This is this was just the beginner course, and uh, if you have anything special in mind, you want you want me to create a tutorial for in Cisco Packet Tracer, just let me know in the comments, and you can help me in my channel just by like and subscribing the uh, this video and subscribing to my channel, and you will support me very uh, kindly. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.